Good morning. Good, good morning. It's great to see everyone. It's a beautiful time in history. You know why? Because over the last 10 years, the most significant change has happened in the profession of marketing. It's the shift from traditional marketing or in-person marketing to digital marketing. And it's so significant. This year alone, $268 billion will be spent by organizations throughout the United States on their digital marketing effort. This is up from $173 billion just one year ago. The change is significant. The change can be confusing. The change can be overwhelming to organizations of all size. But what I'm gonna share with you today is just a simple framework. A simple framework that you can apply to not only the digital space, but also the in-person space. But we're gonna focus on the digital space today. And this framework is this. Rethink your customer acquisition strategy. Whatever organization you're working with, whether it's a club, a for-profit or a non-for-profit organization, rethink your customer acquisition strategy and think about it this way. A very, very simple framework, two lines. Start the right conversation and tell the right story. So in order to illustrate this, I'm going to tell you a story. A story about America's Beauty Show. America's Beauty Show has been around for over 100 years. Every year, stylists, brands from all over the world congregate in the Chicago, Illinois every April for three days to celebrate beauty, education, see what's new, co connect as a community. And this has been going on for over 100 years. America's Beauty Show is not immune from the challenges of COVID like every other organization. In 2020, America's Beauty Show had to shut down after 97 consecutive years, we had to shut the show down. So COVID challenged the organization, and it also allowed us to rethink our strategy, to rethink our customer acquisition strategy, and we shifted to a digital strategy. We went 100% digital. Over the two years, 2021 and 2022, our attendance started to come back. Our numbers were trending in the right direction. We were thinking we were doing everything right on a digital front, but that was just the beginning. We weren't doing everything right. We had a lot to learn. And we asked our customers, we asked our attendees, we said, how did you learn about America's Beauty Show? What was it that caused you to know that the show was taking place? How did you learn about it? And we expected to hear something about digital, but what we heard was shocking. It was completely different. What we heard is that our attendees said they learned about America's Beauty Show from a colleague or a friend. They learned about America's Beauty Show through a conversation. A conversation. So this caused us to rethink our customer acquisition strategy. And we had to dig deeper and we had to take a closer look. Because the hundreds of thousands of dollars that we were investing in digital, we thought would easily translate into communication. But it, it was different than what we expected. It was working, but it was working differently. So we had to take a deep dive and a closer look. And what we found were three key elements that allowed us to have the right conversation and tell the right story. And I'm gonna share these with you today that you can take back to your organization. The first, uh, the first key element is this. You have to start the right conversation with the right group. Now, what do I mean by this? How many of you have been to a salon or been to a barber? You know it's a very social setting. So conversations take place all the time. So the question becomes, how do you leverage a digital strategy to start the conversation in person? So we had to think about that. And when we, take, we took a look at our attendees, we, identi <coughs> we identified different customer segments. And the primary customer segment that we zeroed in on is Gen Z. Gen Z are uh, folks that are between the ages of nine to 24. In the United States, it's about 68 million residents. But here's the key thing about Gen Z. Gen Z is the first segment out of all segments that has been completely digital. Their first mobile device on average was the age of 10. They grew up with a mobile device in their hand. So when we think about starting the right conversation, we have to start the right conversation here. And it has to translate to here, the mobile device. Some other key attributes about Gen Z that cause us to focus in on them is that they spend about three hours a day on their mobile device. About 55% of their purchases are done on the mobile device. 
and about 74% of their purchases in the beauty category are influenced by influencers. And the other thing about uh, uh, mobile devices is that, uh, I see our slides are out, is that 55% of their purchases are also done on mobile devices. Looking at the first lesson, which was segmenting your customers and focusing on Gen Z. Gen Z was the right segment for us to start the right conversation with through the mobile device, because they would also then tell the right story in person. Here's the second key learning. The second key learning was the difference between spokespeople and influencers. In the beauty space, spokespeople have existed for years. On the screen here is Eva Longoria. Many of you know her from Desperate Housewives. She's a, a model, an actress. She is the epitome of beauty. And Lori, she's a spokesperson for L'Oreal, rightfully so. A spokesperson is hired by a brand to represent the brand and to speak on behalf of the brand. That is not the case for what we're looking to do going forward. What we're looking for are influencers. And this is a very subtle difference that many companies do not understand but I'm going to explain it to you like this. Influencers have communities. Influencers are having conversations with their communities. The difference between a spokesperson and an influencer, a spokesperson speaks on behalf of a brand, an influencer includes the brand in their conversation with their community. It's subtle, but strategically different. Gen X responds to influencers. 74% of their purchases are influenced by an influencer. So starting the right conversation with an influencer is very important. And how the influencer engages their community is also critically important. They need to be genuine and they need to be engaging. So here's a quick example of the difference between a spokesperson, Eva Longoria, versus a influencer, Bailey Lavender. Bailey has done an outstanding job for America's Beauty Show. She's an outstanding influencer. She has a community of over 1 million followers. But her conversation is much different than what you would expect with an Eva Longoria as a spokesperson. Let's take a look. Center, where is a safe hotel in Rosemont, Illinois? Like, I have no idea where that is and what's safe around there and like what I, is good and good reviews and like walking distance because I... It's, it's so genuine. We're in uh, Bailey's space. She's putting on her makeup. We're part of her conversation. We're part of her thought process. And that starts the right conversation, which others will then repeat and tell the right story. So let's move on to telling the right story. What does telling the right story look like? What telling the right story looks like with Gen X, is, excuse me, Gen Z, is creating FOMO, fear of missing out. 55% of the purchases that Gen Z makes online is driven by FOMO, even if they don't have the budget. They find the funds to make the purchase out, out of fear of missing out. So we took a look at this FOMO when we talk about telling the right story. It's how we engage Gen Z and how we get Gen Z to tell this right story. So on the screen here, you'll see an example of Gen, two groups of Gen Z uh, attendees doing what? They have their phone out, they're creating content, and they're telling a story. The first picture on the left are three influencers, uh, Benny Alvarez, Markey, and Bailey Lavender, taking a picture earlier in the day at America's Beauty Show, posting it on TikTok. Later that night, you see a group of Gen Z attendees doing the same picture in the same spot, mimicking what they saw the influencers doing. So it works. It works in the, in the, in the um, case of that Gen Z's will mirror the work of those of their influencers. So how does the story end? What happened with America's Beauty Show? How did we move in our, our transition to a digital strategy? In 2023, this year, uh, we achieved record attendance. We had 21,000 attendees. We've recovered from COVID. And it's through a lot of the hard work from all the team members and our board of directors at America's Beauty Show. But it's also the opportunity that we were able to seize by zeroing in on Gen, Gen Z, and engaging influencers, and starting the right conversation and telling the right story. 
And that's where I'd like to share it with you. I'd like to share with you is a simple framework. When you think about starting the right conversation and telling the right story, I would encourage you to learn from the hard work, lessons, and mistakes that we've made at America's Beauty Show, which is this. Identify your customer segments. Identify Gen Z. Start the right conversation with them. If you can leverage influencers in your space, leverage the influencers in your space because they will help get your message through. Tell the right story. Engage Gen Z and engage them in such a way that you're going to create FOMO. Because we know, based on the data, that 55% of the purchases by Gen Z is because of FOMO. And last but not least, acquire new customers through the mobile device. The mobile device is your key channel of communication. So uh, this has been a great morning. It's so great to see everyone. I just want to leave you with this thought. In the world that's complicated by data, in a world that's complicated by too much, in a world that's complicated by excess. Simplify. Simplify by starting the right conversation and telling the right story. And when you do so, your message will get through and your customer acquisition process is an opportunity to be rethought of and rethink. Thank you.